right, everybody, welcome to Buford's Highway Farmer's Market. All right, this place is actually pretty interesting. We've been here before, if you've watched my videos for quite a while. It says Farmer's Market, but there's way more to this place than that. It's actually like a whole big international market. There's like a Russian section, an Oriental section, and other type of stuff like that, and a huge produce section. So let's go in there and check it out. This place is definitely interesting. If you're anywhere near the Atlanta area, recommend check this place out. It's definitely unique.
All right, so that was Buford, Buford huh. Highway Farmer's Market. Like I said, the name doesn't fit. You would never suspect all that stuff there in a farmer's market. So she did some serious shopping, man. Look at all of this. Keeps on going. I mean, non-rush stuff. We got some like mini bananas. We got some plantains. We got all kinds of mangoes. Yellow papaya. papaya. More Beans. mangoes. All right, so these mm -hmm. are some like really famous Russian cheesecake things. I don't know if they're famous, but if you guys watch my Russian video, we're in the supermarket. These things were all over there, all over the supermarket. They're really popular there. Then she got some salami. Yeah, salami, Moskovskaya. Uh, some salmon, fish, really not my thing. Mackerel, hot smoke. The Russian candy. It's a bird's meal candy, that's Russian, famous too. we have too. these... Pryaniki, which is a honey and uh, milk, Pryaniki. Like a gingerbread. The, you'll see this baby face a lot on a lot of Russian chocolate. It's probably like the most common or popular. Poppy seed Danish, very yeah, popular. Poppy seed Danish. Uh, chocolate cheese, if you believe that. Processed cheese. It's like a spreadable cheese, but with chocolate. And some more uh, Russian candies here. I don't even know what this is. Dry fish. Dry fish. More ugly fish. Not even. More fish. I don't even know. It's um. All right. Seaweed salad. So cabbage. So now get this stuff here. Kvass. Kvass. Malted that, beverage. Malted. That is caviar. A, an acquired taste. Caviar. Yeah, caviar. Alright, so yeah, kvass, that is definitely, to me, an acquired taste, I really don't, it's it's like a beer and a soda combined, right? How would you explain it? Mm, kind of. Malted, malted beverage. Malted beverage. See, that's the best way I can, is it alcoholic? No, well, if you make it home, freshly, yeah, but no, so I guess it it's doesn't not, have alcohol. No alcohol, but it's kind of like a... A malted type beer thing. It's, it's weird. If you ever get a chance, try it. Kvass. It's a uniquely Russian thing. So there you go. Buford Highway Farmers Market. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I definitely got some looks walking around the 360, way up in the air and flying over fruits, vegetables, and stuff like that. So I hope you were entertained with all that because <laughs> I definitely got my share of looks with that. So. Thank you for joining us on our adventure here to the farmer's market. Please subscribe, like, share, comments, appreciate it. Don't forget, we're traveling the U.S. full-time in this beautiful RV. And the 50 countries is the goal. We're going to pack our bags and head overseas, and I hope you'll join us for all that. So until next time, stay safe, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. I just got done editing the entirety of it, and like I say, I'm not terribly impressed with the outcome of it i tried something new this time instead of using my uh, a gopro and filming uh like ground level stuff like i did on the first video and i'll put a card up here and i'll link to the very first video i did if you want to see more ground level now give me a break that one was like one of my earlier videos so that one's not very shaky uh you know, GoPro wasn't stabilized at the time, so I was probably using something small like one of these, uh, like the Session, which was like my go-to for a while for filming indoors. I was so afraid of being seen with the camera, so I would use like this little camera and I'd videotape stuff. Most people wouldn't even know. Now I don't care. This time I'm walking around literally with a 360 camera on a four foot long pole. And you can see it's it gets a little bouncy when it's um uh, focus on this thing see the 360 it's it's a dual lens it does great for certain things it does have its limitations um i am still kind of learning with this camera i mean I, i've done some great shots with it it's been great and i was really hoping and i, I think part of it i did get the scope of the building that's kind of what i wanted to do i wanted to get up really high with the camera 
to show the vastness of how large the supermarket is. I think I acquired that, and I thought it would be cool to kind of like go over the fruits, vegetables, things like that, and pan down, but it was kind of a little jumpy in some of the transitions. Then again, it was a little bit harder than what I expected to, because this time there was definitely a lot more people than the first time we went. I'm not sure, maybe because it was a weekend. I think the first time we went was a weekday. I don't know, whatever. It was kind of hard to move around people, so so many images were jumpy, and then again, like I said, this, this pole, it's got a little bit of a flex in it when it's you know, it's really hard to hold this thing that steady when you're walking around. It's so, I said, this thing is like four feet tall or long. So I tried something uh, new. I, st you know, I still think it's a, it's an okay video. It's just a, for me, my expectations out of what I thought I was going to get out of it. It's a little bit. So if you see, it just seems a little bit. When I'm editing in the software, I have to pick. I, I can switch around between where I can and I can spin this thing around in the editing software. So some of it looks a little jumpy. Um, it's either, you know, it has built-in stabilization. So I think some of that stabilization kicked in and it gives it a little jerkiness to it. I'm not 100% sure, but like I said, I'm still learning. Obviously, this probably wasn't the best camera to use. I just really didn't want to walk in there with two cameras, have this thing and the GoPro to film some things and then go around. I was trying to do it all with one camera, make it simple. <sighs> so if you're wondering, you know, if you're not that happy, I'm not that impressed with it, but I hope you still got some enjoyment. And so it's still a wonderful store. So definitely if you're in the area, check it out. If you're looking for some food from like other types of countries and that, it's absolutely amazing the stuff that they have there. So. Like, share, comments appreciated. Please subscribe, follow us on our journeys, and we'll see you in the next one. Hopefully, it'll be a lot better. Thanks for watching.